Right, so we're here in the Enzo Bianchi vineyard in uh, Los Chacayas. Can you tell us a little bit about this uh, IG and, and why it's been, you know, pulled together as a, as a special sector of the Yuko Valley? Uh, for me, Los Chacayas, or in special uh, Valle de Uco in the first place, and then Los, Ca Los Chacayas area, is for me one of the best area in in Argentina to to make a excellent wine because you have a different ca characteristic uh, here in this area. Uh, in the first place, you know a, a big place with a lot of rocks, the origin of the soils, alluvial uh, origin. So uh, in this area, the grapes uh, cannot take a mineral component to obtain excellent notes uh, in the wines, uh, very fresh with a lot of fruit, uh, with a very good uh, yield production uh, in compared with uh, other and other areas. And the, the other big characteristic is the altitude. Here you have more or less 1,200 meters. Mm -hmm. So with this altitude, uh, you can obtain a very good uh, temperature during the day and night, very good difference, approximately between 15 to 10 to 15 Celsius degree, so you can obtain very good phenolic maturation. Mm -hmm. But not only color, tanning, the flowers also. You can the flavor, uh, the aroma, uh, all of these characteristics is, a, is essential for our wine. No? And if you compare, for example, uh, uh, Los Chacayas with San Rafael, the, the difference is incredible because both San Rafael and uh, Uco Valley is a great era for uh, our icon wines, but San Rafael you can obtain a wine with a, a when finished the alcoholic fermentation, you can taste a, a, the, the medium taste is excellent, it's big, with sweet tanning, it's incredible. If you compare with the the wine from uh, Los Chacayes, the wine from Los Chacayes is more uh, uh, soberbious, more uh, more tannins, uh, I don't know how to say in English, uh, salvaje. Yeah, wild. Uh, wild, <laughs> yeah. Uh, more, Los Chacayes, no? <laughs> you know, it's a zorro in English, uh -huh. in Spanish, Fox. Los mm. Chacayes. Um, so you need to work uh, because uh, more in the, the, the wine from uh, Uco Valley, from Los Chacayes, because you obtain the tanning, but it's more uh, with more tanning, more uh, longitudinal length, uh, uh -huh. length, yes. Yeah. And you need to work during the year, during the year and the barrel with batonage, with the leaves to obtain more volume, more medium taste. Mm -hmm. San Rafael, you obtain when finish the alcoholic fermentation. Here, you need to put more attention, more work. But for us, it's a, a is uh, we need to put more attention the wine from uh, Los Chacayes. But sincerely, the quality, when you finish all the process, is the result is excellent. It's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and one more question, because you're, you're very well known for working with Cabernet Franc. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Malbec's best known here, but you were the first winemaker to release a, a premium Cabernet Franc back in 2003. Why do you think Cabernet Franc has found such an affinity for the Yuko Valley? Uh, for me, the, the Cabernet Franc, yes, I, 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 I am the first winemaker to make uh, the first Cabernet Franc icon in Uco Valley. The Cabernet Franc, for me, is a, one of the best varieties. I, I, I am fanatic uh, uh, of uh, Cabernet Franc because it's totally different with the Cabernet Sauvignon because the smell, the tanning, very sweet wine with a long potential. I remember I opened uh, the one bottle of the Cabernet 2003 uh, one month ago, and sincerely, it's incredible the evolution. And the Uco Valley and Cabernet Franc for me is an excellent partner 
uh, here the Cabernet Franc uh, had the, the best condition to grow. With uh, sweet tanning, the sun is perfect. You need to protect a little with the sun because we, you need to protect the aroma of the Cabernet Franc. And then the tanning is very sweet uh, and you obtain a good potential, very good structure. And so I think now obviously Argentina is Malbec, is our first or most important variety in the world. But uh, the Cabernet Franc, uh, I think will be an excellent future for Argentina. Fabulous, thank you.